Hey guys, the Petros 14 here, and welcome to something that you guys might be wondering about. But as from the title, yes, it is true. Uh, this is a Kindle Fire tutorial on how to get Screencast. Uh, I have checked, in Screencast is not in the Android market, uh, and it is not in the Kindle market, or the Android, not Android, but it is not in the Amazon marketplace. Um, now, first things first, before I go and tell you how to do this, what you want to do is go into, uh, pull up the settings menu, go into more, and come down to device. You want to click on that and go scroll down until you see um, applications download uh, by unknown users. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, you, you allow that by turning it on. Now, uh, I'm also going to be showing you guys how uh, what settings that I use for uh, recording um, because screencast is what I use to record with my minecraft pocket edition um, now in order to get this what you want to do is go into I'll have all these links in the description by the way uh, what you want to do is go into your web browser and you want to go on to Google and look up fullshared.com and um it is um typing this in wrong sorry full shared it should be uh go in and type in full shared and it should be the first one on the top now when you get there you want to click on the search button um and it will bring up the little search bar you want to type in screencast APK and APK stands for application now what you want to do here is you want to scroll down until you see um, type that wrong screencast APK okay there now what you want to do is you want to look for come on my internet is low or not low, slow. I'm gonna go over to this one. Search. Sorry about this. Uh, yes, my internet is really slow. But wh what you want to do is you want to go into here and look up uh, Screencast Video Recorder 3.2, and you want to look at the um, newest version. Um, and the one that I'm looking at is 11-28-2012, and I'm clicking on this one. This one's by, uh, Android Technologies. What is my thing doing here? My, my internet's going whack, guys. I'm sorry about this. Um, but yes, you want to go in there and click on that and, uh, wait 20 seconds for the download and download it. I already have it downloaded, uh, of course, um, but just to warn you guys, you have to have your Kindle rooted in, in order for you to get the little uh, record button here at the center of the screen, um, and that is uh, the only way that it will work because it does not work on non-rooted devices. Um, now, the... Uh, if you go down into the description, I will have a link in the description about um, how to root your Kindle Fire, and it is very, very easy. Uh, the person that I, I got this video from uh, makes it very, very, very simple to do. But after you've done what he does and roots it and um, downloads and you didn't get screencast, go down into um, the one icon that says... Uh, it's a little. It looks like a little speedometer. This is a benchmark uh, testing. Uh, this allows you to see what your total frames per second is going to be. Um, mine is about tw uh, 17 second uh, frames per second or something like that. Uh, the memory used and the, also it records about 30 seconds worth. Now, if you go down into the settings, these are the settings I have. You don't have to have these settings. Uh, the video resolution you want. 
to only use high if you have a high-end device. Um, and the Kindle Fire is definitely a high-end device. So I have that on set on high. It only has two settings that you can do, and you can only do high and normal. Um, so check those out and see which one you want. Uh, the video orientation, I use no rotation to m make it where it's not mixed up or anything. Uh, the frames per second, I have it set about 25. Uh, you can go higher than that if you want to. Uh, I just kept my default file name as video. Um, don't worry about that. Uh, the append date to file name, I suggest this so that you know what date or time that you uh, recorded your video. Um, the flip video, you really only want to use this for the Galaxy Tab 7, like it says. Um, because I tried using it, and it flipped my video all around to where I don't like it. Uh, so I uncheck that. Um, now the record audio with the mic. If you have a phone, you can use a mic and record it straight into your phone so that you don't have to do like I do. And use uh, Audacity or something like that. Um, so if you want to, you can have that checked and use a mic straight into your phone, I believe. I haven't tried it. Um, but another option is hiding the app when the recording starts. That's what I use to make it quicker to get into my, my Minecraft. Um, so have that checked if you want. Screenshot settings. I don't really use, uh, screenshots much, but if you want to, you can use them. Uh, the screenshot format that I have is JPEG. Uh, you can also use PNG or BMP. Um, and the flip device to snap screen, I don't know what that is. But I just leave that unchecked. So those are, are the settings that I have. Uh, if you come up to the film rule, uh, ruler, uh, film setting, or whatever, uh, you'll, there's going to be a little box there if you're recording that has an exclamation point. Uh, that is signifying that the video is not stopped and you are still recording on that video. See, it says uh, December 10th, 2012. Uh, that is the date that I'm recording this. And... Um, that just helps me with the date because I only really record once per day unless I'm doing a marathon or something. Uh, and that helps me out a lot. Um, but, again, uh, that's all that I have for this video. Uh, leave a like, a comment, or subscribe if you really, really want more uh, tutorials for how to download things for the Kindle Fire. I just hit the mic there, sorry. Um, but... That is the settings that I use and what all I use for the Minecraft Pocket Edition Let's Play that I do. So, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, a comment, or subscribe. And let's meet back next episode or next video for more Minecraft Pocket Edition or even another Kindle Fire tutorial. Thank you guys for watching. See ya.